Now, all of you are familiar with my friend Dutrid. Even though we have two different religions, we still get along well, fairly well. But we didn't start out that way. And as I mentioned earlier, he had been raised by Jarl Ragnar Ravenson. And to tell the truth, he ended up getting into a marriage which landed him in a very bad debt with a corrupt priest. Fortunately, that priest was eventually replaced, but Alfred would not lift the debt, and so he had a very bad idea on how he would lift the debt. And Merida and I were watching after his estate while he was away, and I was doing this to win back Alfred's trust. This? She's a queen. Queen of what? What people is she or? Well, whether you plundered or not, or whether or not this was justified or not, I will get to the bottom of this. And then I'll no longer have to deal with you again. of Idrid's path. What? The trail. More pain in my future. Wait! Out! Out! This queen can sleep with the animals! Merida, she probably doesn't know any better. Was probably raised a pagan. Why must you talk so unhandsomely? But they are true Christians now, and they are immune to dark magic. Speaking of Christians, yes, no. my wishes. And if you try to go against us, need to remind you the villagers are now more loyal to Merida and I than they are to you. Utrid. And by the way, miss, the princess here has had a negative experience with witches in the past. And of course, I do not approve of witchcraft, but that does not mean that we cannot be friends. What's your name, Lassie? Old Isolt. I'm speaking. I'm still making plans, but I've also befriended some of the locals. Which is very strange, considering that they're Saxons. But they haven't told the king, or any lords, that I am here. And to tell the truth, Shrek, I guess this makes us neighbors for now. By the way, did you hear of the many theories on why Ivar is called the Boneless? So, according to what I could best translate in your language, apparently, in your Saxon language, what you also speak, Boneless could mean hated, especially since he was hated by Viking and Saxon alike, especially given that he was a kinslayer and he was a truly terrible human being. Or it could mean that he had weak bones in his legs, as what Athelbar believes, from which many of the Vikings are saying in the sagas that they now sing about him is that he had no bones in his legs. I think it's more of an ironic nickname because he has larger than average bones in his arms given his incredible upper body strength. I think maybe he's compensating for something. Oh Shrek, that's terrible. But maybe that's why they said that he's neither interested in love or women. <laughs> 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 hmm.